What's good guys, welcome to the video. It's your friendly neighborhood assassin and today I got a different type of video for you guys. Now this is a video that I've been looking forward to making for a very long time. As you can tell by the title, today I am gonna play normally for the first time ever in eight years. <laughs> I am gonna play normally without using claw. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a claw player. I've been playing claw for eight years, ever since Black Ops 2 came out. I, uh, I've been playing claw for eight years, and before I even started playing claw, I was, I was a decent player, but I knew that there was something that I could do to become better and work on my, my reaction time and all that. So I taught myself how to play claw, and ever since then, I literally stuck by it and I never went back. It's something that, you know, took me a quite a bit of time. I, I think I learned how to play claw or I got used to it after like a week and a half or two weeks. But ever since that point on, I was just trying to get better and better and better. And that's what happened. So now I'm at the point where it's basically second nature to me. It's how I play. I play any game. No matter what type of game I play, I play Claw. It's just who I am now and how I play. And I thought it would be awesome to go back to my OG roots and play without Claw. Something that I never did and I really wanted to try. So that's today's video. Now, I am nervous because I've never done this before. This is the first time I'm gonna try it in eight years, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Drop a like, subscribe, because we're so close to 400 subs, which is insane. Thank you so much for the support. And, uh, oh yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a different video, another video on how to get started with Claw, how to get better with Claw, tips and tricks, on what I did to get better, and what you guys want to see in the next video let me know because i'll definitely think about making a video on how to get started with claw so with that being said guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna let you know how i feel about playing normally versus playing claw and uh yeah <laughs> enjoy my suffering this is gonna be crazy thanks for stopping by and stay safe Okay, so before we hop into a real game, I want to show you what's up. I want to show you how I actually play. So this is Whip Claw. I am going to show you just basic things that I do normally when I play Claw. Let's do that right there. What I just did. This is me with Claw. And this is going to be me normally. This is how I would do the same thing I just did normally. It's slower. Because I'm not using my index finger to to touch all the face buttons. I'm literally using my thumb to do all that. Which is the number one difference when you play claw and normally. You have way more time and more options to do different types of things on claw than on normal. For example, like you're more precise with what you do when you play claw versus playing normally. I, by the way, just a disclaimer, I am playing on a DualShock controller. This is a standard controller, PlayStation controller, no paddles, none of that, just straight up vanilla controller. And I'm playing claw, that's why I forced myself to play claw because I wanted to be more precise and faster at what I do so this is claw right now I could literally do all of this turn around do some crazy movements and I don't have to worry about doing all of this with my my thumb I always have my thumb on my directional or camera analog stick and it's always on that so I could focus on where things are where things will be and all that now, if I'm playing normally, like right now, it's so much harder to control my camera while I'm doing all of this because I have to control the, the face buttons, like triangle, X, square, all that. I have to worry about what I press, and after I press it, I need to adjust my camera so I could, you know, look at what I'm going or where I'm going and what I'm doing. So it's just a bunch of 
a bunch of restrictions. You're, you're literally, it's harder to play normally and do the things that you could do easily on Claw. Basically, that's how you sum it all up. So on Claw, you could do more things more easily and precise versus playing without it because you will have to work harder to get the same results as claw players which is the biggest thing the biggest difference between claw and normal gaming um obviously i'm not i'm not hating on people that play normally because i i was someone that used to play normally and i just you know i just forced myself to learn how to play claw and uh, now i'm at this point so i just wanted to get that out there I am going to play a real game, an actual game of pubs, and I want to see how it, how I would do in a real game without playing Claw. I'm super, super nervous because I've never done this before, but I'm really excited to try it. So let's get straight into a game, and I'll catch you right over there. Oh man, I'm so, so nervous, guys. I'm so, so nervous. Remember, I'm not playing Claw. Remember, remember. Oh my god. I'm not exaggerating it. Oh my god. I can't do this. I don't want to do this. Dude, how? I'm not. Re I'm really not trying to make fun of anyone who plays Claw, but come on now. How do you guys do this? Oh. Oh no. Oh my god. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, we're, we're live, baby. We're live. What's up, homie? Ah! I can't do this. I can't do this. I literally can't do this. No, no, no! I fucking suck! I hate it, dude. I hate it. It's me. How am I supposed to win a game, dude? Oh my god. You literally, like, you cannot react. You're, you're literally just worried about your camera, your right stick. Like, you're, you're trying to, to line up your, your camera so you can see. But then you have to do all these other things with the face button, slide jumping, all of that. It's literally... It's literally holding you back from doing so many things at once. You can't multitask as much as you can with Claw. And it's so hard. Oh my, if you guys don't play Claw and you play normally and you're you're struggling on, you know, winning 1v1s or or winning in general, then I feel your pain. This is so hard. Guys, you need to learn how to play claw. I'm not saying that because because I'm saying that, you know, to make fun of you, but I'm saying it because it'll literally make you a better player. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is the worst. You know what? I'm going to use Bloodhound because I don't want to use a character that I look sweaty in. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. I'd rather play Bloodhound and look like a bot on Bloodhound rather than Wraith. <laughs> so, let's try again. Let's try again. Okay, this is take two. Someone landed with me. I am super nervous. Oh my god. Are you, are you serious? Dude, literally, it's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I don't think I could win a game like this. <laughs> it's so hard. Oh my god, that lifeline is a bot. Like seriously. No, not you, Siri. What? <sighs> I want to cry. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try one more time. Because I do not want to put myself through this. This suffering. 
Jesus, this is hard, bro. Oh my, you know what? I'm gonna make a video on how to how to play Claw, how to get started, because I feel so bad for anyone who plays like this. Because this is the most frustrating thing ever. Ever. Literally. It's the hardest thing ever. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm gonna try one more game. I literally can't even survive the first fight. This is impossible. I can't play like this. I give up. You, it's so hard to like multitask in this. Attention. First blood. I am so scared right now. Like you don't. I, my goal. My goal is to get one kill. New kill leader. What? I'm not gonna pick this guy up. Share my grenade. Literally the hardest thing. I was concentrating so hard. So hard. Oh, look at him teabagging me. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I won't lie, I am mad. <laughs> I died to so many, so many horrible players because I was restricting myself from playing claw i died to so many bots because i wasn't playing claw now look to sum it all up the biggest difference between playing claw and normally is reaction time and precision i i sound like a nerd right now but i'm not lying you are so much more faster and precise when you play claw versus normally without claw. It's it's not even a debate at this point. I never want to play without claw again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but forget about all that. I don't think I'm ever going to do this again. This was the most frustrating thing ever. I'd rather play Claw forever until I die because that was the most difficult thing I've ever done ever in a very long time in gaming. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'll make a video on how to get started, on how to play Claw, how I started, tips and tricks, whatever you guys want to know on Claw in the next video, in the next couple of videos, depending if you guys want to see that. Drop a like, let me know in the comments, hit me up in the comments and let me know if you guys want to see a video on how to get started with Claw and I'll make that video because I feel so bad for anyone that doesn't play Claw. Like seriously, you guys won't regret learning how to play Claw. It'll be the best thing you've ever decided to do ever in your, in your gaming life or whatever. So let me know, guys, if you enjoyed this video and my suffering. Let me know what you guys think about what I said throughout this video. Let me know if you want to see that, that video about Claw. I'll let you know. I'll teach you all of it. Just let me know. Subscribe because we're so close to 400. That's going to be insane. I'm so excited for that. And follow my socials. Link in the description. Follow the IG. I keep you guys posted on what I'm doing and when I'm going to drop a video. 
But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching this video. If you got to this point, thank you so much. You're one of the realists. I really appreciate you guys. And stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.